You know, I'm really glad you decided to come hang out with me. Work's been rough on both of us, and I thought it'd be really good if we could relax a little and have a little picnic together. Yes, my love. I even packed your favorite chocolate strawberries. What kind of boyfriend would I be if I forgot to pack your favorite treats? Exactly. Hence why I made sure to pack the strawberries, the choco chunk cookies, and those Japanese sodas you like so much. <laughs> hmm. You know, this seems like a really good spot for our picnic. I'll get the plates, cutlery, and the blanket set up, and you can get the food out of the basket. Ow! That smarts. Oh, a little cut. Mind if I take over? Could be danger lurking about. No, I'm fine. No danger here. <laughs> I'm fine, sweetheart. Just accidentally cut my finger on the knives. Let me get a band-aid. You see something weird around me? Like what? My shadow seems to be moving? <laughs> Probably just a light. No need to worry. She can see us. This is wonderful. <laughs> I'll make myself know, and we can finally meet the cutie. Don't you dare. You can't have her. <laughs> Too late. To be completely honest, I never expected us to meet so soon. You see, your little boyfriend decided to keep me under wraps. He was afraid I'd end up hurting you. What am I? Oh, darling, you really don't know. I don't look familiar. I'm his shadow. Oh, your eyes are practically bulging out of your head. I am, indeed, his shadow. Your boyfriend is descended from a powerful line of dark sorcerers. Among their many abilities, they have a special knack for shadows. What does this have to do with me? You see, the first time he used his abilities was on his own shadow. This is not recommended, because we shadows have a tendency to develop a mind of our own. Whenever your boo is in great distress, or his mind is weak, I'm able to take over his body. Oh... No need to fret too much, my dear. It's not permanent, unfortunately. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I can't possess you. I'm connected to Loverboy here, so I can only take over his body. In his defense, he really did try to keep me at bay. But bit by bit, I managed to chip away at his defenses and have access to his mind and soul. Oh, that poor boy. He loves you so much and... <sighs> Baby, are you all right? 
Did he hurt you? Okay. Okay. I'm glad nothing happened. Listen, you have to get out of here. You have to run away as fast as you can. No, you can't stay. I can only hold him off for so long. And until I regain total control, it's dangerous for you to be around me. I know you have a lot of questions, but I'll answer them all once you're out of danger. Just get back to your apartment and draw this symbol on the doors with this pen. It should provide some protection. I love you too. Now go. Hey, honey. I managed to get him under control. I'm, uh, headed back to your house now. Just make sure to keep the doors locked and don't erase the symbols. I want them to remain there as a precaution. Yeah, I'll stay on the phone with you. I'm I'm so sorry you had to see that, sweetie. It was never my intention to lie to you or or put you in danger. I just got so nervous you'd reject me, and I tried to keep them under wraps. But I guess the cat, or in this case Shadow, is out of the bag. Yeah, what my shadow said was true. I'm, uh, descended from a line of sorcerers. In years past, we'd be hunted down, because, well, some of us would go a little crazy. And that made the world suspicious of the rest of the family, and they saw us as a threat. When we're in danger, the shadow takes control of our bodies, so... We're protected. The same charm was cast on my shadow. However, there were some side effects. For the past few years, my shadow's begun to develop a mind of its own, staying for longer periods of time, even after the dangers passed, whispering in the back of my mind. Now, it seems like he's gained a fascination, or obsession with you. I can even hear him now, talking about how he wants to steal you away. Hey. Hey. I'll protect you. Just keep those symbols on the doors, and all should be fine for now. I'll, uh, I'll just have to stay outside when I visit you, okay? I know, sweetie. But it's for your protection. I've already started looking at the family archives, and I may have found a solution. Everything should be alright. I love you too, sweetheart. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, my love. Are you okay? No. Don't open the door. I, uh, can't come in for a while. It's not safe. Honey, we already discussed this. Until I can get him under control, we can't be near each other. I know that's a problem, since you need to go to work and get groceries. There may actually be a way for us to interact until this problem is taken care of. There's a kind of special necklace that can protect the wearer from magic. In this case, you'd wear it and he couldn't touch you. My mother has one and when I told her about our predicament, she said you can borrow it. Would you be okay with that? 
You would? Great. I'll go stop by her house and bring it tomorrow morning. Until then, don't open this door. No matter what you see or hear, he'll try to pull on your heartstrings. All right. Until tomorrow, my love. If you really think some silly little necklace will keep me from her, guess again. She'll be mine, whether you two like it or not. You can't stay out here forever, spending an eternity away from your beloved must be so painful. It won't be forever. Once I give her the necklace, you won't be able to touch her. Then I'll be able to get rid of you for good. Don't lie to yourself, boy. You need me. Who will protect you when the town realizes what you are and decides to hunt you down? like an animal. I've been able to blend in just fine till you raise your ugly little head. You can't have her. I won't let you. <sighs> Better get that lover boy. Cutie is calling you. Don't call her that. Hey, sweetie. Is everything okay? You can see me and my shadow fighting through the window. Ever since you two met, he's been getting more restless. My mom will be here in a few more hours. Can you hang on for a little while more for me? Thank you, darling. I promise I'll get you out of this mess. I'll see you soon. Bye. <sighs> that old hag you call a mother won't be getting through the door, not without me tagging along. How dare you call my mother that? She's dealt with plenty of shadows like you. We'll never let you harm my girlfriend. <sighs> we'll be seeing about that. Mom, you're finally here. Yeah, she's still in the house. Do you, uh, have the necklace? Old hag. Oh, I see you haven't lost any of that fire. Why don't you come a little closer and we can catch up? It's been so long since I've seen you. Ugh. Enough out of you, Parasite. She's trying to take control, Mother. I'll hold him back. Just run. There. Now you can't get either of them. Ah, you little I'll tear you apart when I got out of here. you, sweetie. Did you get the necklace? Good. Never take it off. Don't worry. It's impervious to all sorts of damage. And it won't choke you accidentally in your sleep. These things were designed to always be worn. Remember, it's only temporary. Could you, uh, put my mom on the phone, please? Thanks. Hey, Mom. Have you, uh, found any solutions yet? No. How, uh, 
How long do you think it'll take? A few days. I expected as much. The archives are a nightmare to get through. No. I'll, uh, stay away from her. For a little while longer. I'm afraid my shadow will try and find some way to get around the necklace. Yeah. He's a crafty one. I'll try to keep him tied down. Until you and... Dad find something. Sounds like a plan. I love you, Mom. Keep me tied down? Ha! <laughs> That's a laugh. Once I set my eyes on something, I make it mine, just like your little lady will be. I'll keep her safe until my last breath. You'll soon see just how wrong you are about that. Time to switch places, lover boy. I have important things to do, and I need your body to get them done. Uh. Uh. What? What is this? How did you do this? Uh. Why didn't you do this when my mother delivered the necklace? I've been learning some new tricks. You really should try to keep some of that information locked away in that head of yours. Someone might abuse it. Also, I just wanted to lure you into a false sense of security. Uh, uh, no. Let me go. Just give up already. You won't be getting out anytime soon. Now then, it's showtime. Now, according to my sources, there should be a weak spot in the protection field right about here. Honey, I'm home. You can't hide forever, little one. I will find you. Gotcha. <laughs> now, now, I wouldn't even bother about running away. I have a better idea in mind. <laughs> Don't even bother struggling, little one. Your shadow is now under my control. Oh. <laughs> but what about the necklace? That's where things get good. I managed to find a loophole. The necklace prevents me from touching your physical body, but not your shadow. Ah. 
Your tears. That expression. Delicious. I suppose I could make you take off the necklace, but that would be far too easy. I like to play with my food. How did I find this loophole? I found it a little while ago in a small book. Loverboy and the old hag were in the archives while they were occupied. I managed to extend a portion of myself and decided to look around. That's when I found the aforementioned book. It contained so much information, especially on that protection necklace you have and similar jewelry. Uh, you had this information? All this time? Of course I did. I was saving it for just the right occasion. Just because we're connected doesn't mean I have to share everything with you. Now, my darling, I'll make you a proposal. You take off the necklace, and I'll release your boyfriend from his mental binding. Why should you trust me? Well, you don't have much of a choice, do you? Your boyfriend is locked away deep inside his own head, and I have control over your shadow and your body. I'm just trying to make things easier for you. Don't listen to him. I'll be fine. You have to... Uh, fight his control. Enough of that. What's your choice, girl? As you can see, I don't have all night. <laughs> Good choice. Ah, uh, no. You stupid girl. I'm so glad you decided to accept your fate. I'm surprised you gave in so easily. Couldn't you tell that I was lying? Oh, <laughs> you wanted to save your little boyfriend. How sweet. Now you and I can be together forever, and Loverboy here can come along for the ride. Not like he has much of a choice. Welcome to your new life, cutie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You can't keep me here forever. I'll break out eventually. <laughs> you can try, boy. Even if you do manage to escape, it'll be too late. She gave in willingly. Ah. Uh. Willingly? You tricked her by promising you'd set me free. And I'm surprised she didn't realize I was lying. I thought I was being obvious. Then again, I did say I like playing with my food. <laughs> oh, when I get out of here, I'll make you pay for what you've done. Quiet now, boy. Time to talk to Cutie over here. I have a few ideas in mind for us, darling. Each ends with you belonging to me and me alone. For instance, I could possess your shadow and control you that way. Or, maybe I'll rip your shadow out entirely from your body, and keep that. Hmm. 
No. Don't look at me like that, darling. This will be so much fun. Remember, it was you who gave in. Oh, tricked is such a strong word. I prefer pushed, nudged, persuaded. What do I want with you? I want to make you mine, simple as that. What I mean to say, darling, is that I've evolved from being a simple protector. I'm no longer a weapon that can be called upon and used by humans. With this freedom, I can choose. I can make my own path in life. And I want a future with you by my side. Listen here, sweetheart. I've graciously given you a chance to give in willingly. You took it, and now you're backing out out of your word. Why don't we change that? This little shadow pocket will be your new home until you choose to behave. How long it will be depends on you. Of course, I'll give you food and water. Can't have my cutie starving to death, now can we? It's been three days, little human. Have you made up your mind? No. To be perfectly honest, I could just force you to become mine. Or I could leave you wondering what I'll do next. I just love to see your expressions. They're so adorable. Especially when you're scared. I'll tell you what. I'll give you until tomorrow morning to give me a final answer. Of course, it is just a formality. You're mine, regardless of your answer. Hopefully, it'll be the right one. Uh, I gotta get out of here. She won't be able to hold out for much longer. Wait a minute. I got it. What was that shield charm mom taught me? In Sigley. Great. Now he can't see or hear what I'm doing. Next. I need to contact my sweetheart. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Sweetheart, can you hear me? Yes, it's me. Listen, we don't have much time, and I don't have much energy. 
uh, being trapped in my own mind isn't helping either. Hey. Hey. It'll be okay. I said I would protect you. And... I plan on keeping that promise. I have a plan. However, you'll have to play along with that monster's demands. Hey! Hey! It'll only be for a little while. We need him distracted for this to work. Okay. Here's the plan. Rise and shine. Time to give me your final answer. Oh. You're saying yes. Well, it's about time for you to finally accept the inevitable. Like I said before, all of this waiting around was for my enjoyment. I like to see you squirm whimper, your fear and anxiety are delicious. <laughs> I guess a hug would be fine. I can finally hold you in my arms. You smell so good. No wonder your boyfriend wanted you. Or should I say, your ex boyfriend? What's that sound? How dare you! Nice shot, sweetheart. You! You somehow gave her the blue! How? I managed to gather some energy and cast a shield spell. Then I contacted her and coordinated everything. My mother helped her get the blade. Now, time for us to switch places. Permanently. Oh, it's good to be back. I'm okay, baby. Just a little dizzy. Did he hurt you? Good. Now that I'm wounded, what's your grand plan? You'll see. Sweetheart, if you'll do the honors. No! Are you crazy? Do you even know what that'll do to you? I do indeed. You and I are no longer compatible. You need to leave. Without me, you'll shrivel up and die. Did he tell you that? He needs me! As you can see, 
she now knows everything. While it is true, I need a shadow to live, that doesn't mean it needs to be the shadow I was born with. Baby, do you mind if I do it? All right. Just hold still. Uh. Now, I take this piece that was cut off your shadow and attach it to me. Yeah, looks like we'll be matching. Ah, ah, this can't be. I almost had everything. Looks like you'll be getting nothing, except for time in the Citadel. No, not that place. Please, no. One mention of that place is enough to make you scared? Where's all that talk about keeping my girlfriend off to yourself? I'll... I'll do anything. Please! You're pathetic. Honestly, I should have done this a long time ago. Goodbye forever. No! He's gone now. He can no longer hurt you. Don't worry. The Citadel is impossible to escape from. It's literally a maximum security prison for shadows. I'm just so glad this is over. Come over here. I need to hug you. I miss this. I never want to let you go. Can we stay like this? Forever? <laughs> I know that's not possible. But I'd like to try. I love you too, sweetheart.